We started this journey in April and we soft launched the entire month of May just so we could make the tweaks and updates that we needed and we were so excited as we saw the mass mandate and the other requirements being dropped and we were really hopeful and excited heading into the summer. And we still are, we, we, we're really pushing through. Um, but unfortunately, we've still been waiting on the shared kitchen to be finished and um, we had to make some drastic changes to our menu following um, some issues that the fire marshal had pointed out to the Julieta market as a whole. So actually, we weren't the only vendors affected. All of the vendors had to make drastic changes um, from serving hot fried items, um, like our salmon croquettes, which were our best sellers, our potatoes on the stick, um, which are again, they were farm to table items, you know, trying to really introduce some of your favorites, but locally sourced. They can get a chicken salad sandwich, uh, they can get a tuna salad sandwich, or a chickpea salad sandwich, which is vegan. And then I also do my specialty salads. Uh, Wednesday is the Cobb salads, and today I have the taco salad. So they can get salads, they can get chips, they can get a whole box lunch. Chips, drink, and cookie. We also have vegan and gluten-free bread or gluten-free uh, cookies. And a fruit cup. Thankfully, because we have a great chef in Chef Angelia Drake, um, we were able to make those changes very quickly. Um, but it was also um, very difficult to kind of promote a, a, a new um, menu so quickly and turn things around. But when folks do come down here and through partnerships like with Old North through Brunch and Bubbles, um, it helps us kind of stabilize and have some ongoing programming that we can offer to the public.